In this session, we are going to see how we can import a CSV file to SQL Server. Basically, uh, there, is, there are some requirements where we need to copy some data from a source uh, system to the database server, which is a SQL Server or any databases. So in our case, we are looking at a Microsoft SQL Server database where we wanted to import some data from a different uh, file. I do have one file which is stored uh, locally on my system, uh, which is nothing but a people.csv where it does have some records related to people. This is a sample data which is available. Now what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, import this file. Like uh, we do have some columns. Let's say you can see this is a header uh, which is separated by comma and its data is also separated with the comma separated. So uh, this is the .csv file. Uh, I wanted to import it in SQL Server. Let's try to see how we can do this. Uh, so I do have this uh, SQL Server Management uh, Studio open and we do have these databases. So AdventureWorks is a database, which is a default database. So right, just right click on that and just go to the import data option. Uh, there is another import flat file as well. That also I will uh, show you, but first let's try to understand import data. Uh, in the import data, we can uh, get this new server import uh, and export wizard. Uh, so just click on next and in this, uh, what we can do, we can just uh, select a flat file source because this is what the file we are having and uh, we do have Excel source as well. Uh, if you uh, if you want, uh, if you have some Excel file as well or some, there are different databases as well. So we can connect with the Oracle or MySQL or any other SQL server database as well. But for now, we do have this flat file source. So let's select file, flat file source. Once we get this option, you can select this uh, file name. So we need to specify the file name. So right now I do have this file uh, which is available uh, here. Uh, in the CSV format, uh, which is on uh, saved on my local system. So I'm just selecting that as a people and uh, you can see uh, this is a different format. So first one is a delimited and you can see fixed width or rack right. So that is something which is different uh, format. Uh, in our case, it is a delimited. So this CSV file can be in a separate format, like maybe in comma separated or it is a colon separated or it is it is must, it may be having some fixed width as well. So that is possible. Uh, header row means each row is uh, having one record and uh, the next row will be of the next record in the table. So that is the carriage return line feed uh, row uh, delimited. If you go to the columns option here, uh, you can see how these column delimited are there. Uh, row delimiter is fine. So one record will be on one line. Uh, next record will be start from the next line. So that is something which is specified this carriage return and LF line feed. Uh, in column delimited, we do have um, commas separated file, but uh, it is quite possible that some of the files may have semicolon or colon or tab or vertical bar. So that is possible. But in our case, uh, we do have these uh, files which are just comma separated. One value is something which is separated by here, then here, like this. So we just wanted to separate it out. Uh, now, if you go to the auto once option here as well, uh, we can do different different takes changing column names. So in, instead of index, I can do it ID. If I wanted to make it as a uh, numeric or something, I can do that as well numeric here. Uh, so let's try to do, uh, do this. If I say means it is a numeric, a DT numeric, and then I can uh, do this numeric field as well. Uh, we can have these other options uh, same as a default. Uh, however, if you wanted to change something, it is then you can change uh, different things. So the, there is a job title which is over 50 character. Let's say it is uh, maybe it is not just 50 characters and it may be 100 characters. So let's uh, do that. Uh, and then you can just preview it. Now, when we preview it, uh, you can see different, different columns which are available uh, here. Uh, there is an as, as well also there is option the data rows to skip if there is some any such requirement then you can skip that uh, rows as well just click on next once you click on this next then we need to mention where uh, this data uh, once imported where it should be uh, stored so we can mention that we wanted to store it in the sql server native client because that is what we are having right now uh, here we wanted to store it the server name is something which is so we have this uh, which is here connected and the database is something which is a sample database adventure works which is available here so just select that and just click on next once you click on next then you get in a window where you can see source is people.csv and the destination is uh, people. So that is something which is, we can uh, see the edit mappings. You can just want to see uh, the mapping, whether it is correct or not. Source is something which is people.csv and destination is people as a new table will be created. 
its size and other things is mentioned here. So just click on OK and then just click on Next. And you can run immediately or you can save SS SSS package, but right now just click on run immediately and select next. You can see this is a copy from uh, this .csc file uh, to this dbo.people file and the new target table will be created. So just click on finish. Once you finish this, then everything is, you can see as a success and 100 rows has been transformed yes. so from the input file. We have taken 100 rows and that has been inserted into new table, which is called other people. There are zero errors. So if there are any errors uh, happen uh, during transfer of the data, then it may appear here as a fail or warning. Just click on close. And once you click on this, we can just verify whether it is really available or not. So just select star from people. And if you just see this, uh, just execute this, then you can see this data is available. Now if, now, if you wanted to compare, then you can see this is how it is. The first ID is this, and then this second ID is this value. Then this is the name, which is available here. And then Terrell, this is available here. So this is the way how it gets um, uh, inserted. And you can see everything is uh, copied very cleanly. So this is how we can actually get our .csv files to SQL Server. So now the next thing is there is another option which is available, which is if you just right click on here again, go to the task, uh, then uh, we do have import flat file as well. If you are just uh, sure that this is a flat file, if you wanted to insert, then you can just use a specify input uh, flat file. And if you just select the people, which is a .csv file, uh, and then new table name, if you wanted to make it as a, another table name, you can make it as a, I'm just making people test and the schema is the DBO, uh, the default schema I wanted to make it. And if I just uh, make it a preview, we can see different, different options uh, as well here. Uh, you can uh, specify the column name, uh, it's data type and then primary key or foreign key. If you wanted to make it as a primary key, then you can make, select this as well. And if I just wanted to make the summary, you can, and any other things, like if you wanted to make the changes, uh, data type and other things that also we can do, do it. Summary is something which is uh, the new table of people test will be created. Files to be imported is something which is uh, people.csv. Just click on finish and uh, this is, uh, you can see as a result as a success. Now just try to uh, verify this, whether it is really available or not. Select star from people uh, test. So this is something which is available. And if you just try to execute it, you can see these are the table which is got created and it is has having 100 rows. This is how uh, we import the flat file.csv file to SQL server. And this is very useful whenever we wanted to do some uh, transformation on the files uh, and getting the source uh, file to the destination uh, database. So this is very useful uh, feature which is available with the SQL server. I hope you like it.